Hello there, Geminis. So, first of all, I feel that um, once again, we have this uh, imagery of family members coming in, family support, this, this sense of like family solidarity, family members stepping in for financial assistance, for even assistance for whatever you need. I feel like for the next two weeks, you are going to be kicking up your feet and you are really going to enjoy yourself when it comes to, you know, being surrounded by people that you love, people that you trust and people that have faith in you. Okay. So I feel like this very strong outpouring emotional support coming through from family members. The other thing that comes into the picture that you want to be aware of is um, a lot of you are working from home. So they mentioned like home-based business. Your home is your office and you know you, you might like be taking a lot of phone calls, work related phone calls when you are physically at home and that energy can be very very disruptive. Don't bring work home or at least designate an area in your home so that you can you know take these phone calls or you can sit down and really uh, do the necessary work rather than you know crowding your environment your home environment which is supposed to be your haven with a lot of work responsibilities okay so they mention in the work environment there is an environment where um, structure system rules regulations are breaking down and I feel like you know people are calling you left and right they're trying to reach out to you they're trying to get into contact with you so it's like very last minute late night phone calls that you're going to have to attend to and it seems like the environment itself is a little bit hectic and is a little bit chaotic. Um, the other thing I feel is they mention a lot of interactions overall when it comes to foreigners, okay? So, you know, a lot of times, right, like uh, languages, they don't carry over. So things might get lost in translation. So I feel like it's really, really important for you to ask all the full details. And especially when things seem a little bit like they might be taken out of context or misinterpreted, I want you to really um, ask I want you to slow down and really ask to see what is meant by something like whether or not it was misconstrued. So like dig a little bit deeper. If you are um, communication through like a, a third party in order to get your point across with somebody who doesn't speak the same language it's really, really important to make sure that we communicate well and that the other person understands our intentions. If you are in a position where you're trying to invite trust, where you're trying to, you know, bridge that cultural linguistic divide um, gesturing would be really good for you so you know as a show of good faith for example reaching out touching somebody and you know not inappropriately but at least like reaching out in, in, in good faith and touching somebody I feel or you know giving them a lot of eye contact that can allow you to non-verbally uh, persuade them to be a lot more open with you and to be a lot more trusting towards you. And that can also invite them to have a lot more trust and faith and confidence in you. So there are a lot of things that we can do with just body language alone and learning that and, you know, being savvy with that is going to be in your best interest in case communication goes awry, okay? We are heading into a, a Mercury retrograde period and, you know, Mercury is your ruling planet. So I want you to be very, very careful when it comes to um, communicating in a way where it is like providing the best representation that you can and especially providing information full disclosure of information in good faith so that means not being deceptive not holding back information because I feel like things are gonna slip out of your mouth um, it's actually very interesting I did the uh, reading for Libras and the message that I brought up was Libras and Aquarius they need to learn how to communicate a little bit more to be a lot more relatable whereas I mentioned for Gemini's you guys might reveal too much too soon and people don't know what to do with the information so it would be wise for you I feel like err on the safe side to really hold back when you communicate don't um, don't reveal everything that you know because, you know, like, um, like they say, in a situation where things might be a little bit tense, such as a negotiating table, we don't really want to reveal to our opponent everything that we know. We want to, you know, th things to be revealed on a need-to-know basis, on a case-by-case -case basis. So with um, holding back a little bit, not to deceive other people, but just holding back from your end, I feel that's going to be a lot better for you. And I feel like when you're interacting for this month, ask a lot of questions. 
um, allow people to talk and especially allow them to review things, you know, take a little bit more of a re receptive rather than a proactive stance, ask questions, get to know people a little bit better, gauge their body language and have, um, be a little bit more receptive so that you can have time to assess and analyze, you know, what they're doing, what they're thinking, rather than just, you know, sharing so much information. I feel like it would be in your best interest to try to uh, pull back your energy a little bit and ask, you know, follow up question and ask a lot of questions. Um, in the relationship sector, what we do have here is, um, I feel like there are a lot of people um, giving you, you know, kind of like that eye, like the little wink. So it's, it means like, you know, people soliciting you from afar, but they're doing it in a very, um, I want to say like a, a very covert way. Okay. And so you don't want covertness. You, you want people to be very clear about their expectations and you want people who like you to really step forward. You want people to take initiative and to take charge. So if they're giving you sideways glances, if they're giving you, you know, like flow covert acts of flirtation, ignore it. Okay. That's not really worth your time pursuing. So I feel that unless they're able to own up to their actions and they're coming at you with guided and specific intentions, don't waste your time. All right. Um, I feel overall there's a lot of work that needs to be done. The, the income sector looks very, very nice. It looks very highly lit up. So I don't feel finances will be a major concern for you, but I do feel like there are a lot of options to consider when it comes to work. And I do feel a lot of you, your your work is your home and you, like your, your office is in your home or your home is in your office. So it feels like a major blending of the home life with the work life which might not be good for you. So you need to take some time away from it and just, you know, try to keep these things separate. Okay. So I'm going to be back for the mid month. Oh, I'm sorry for the monthly reading. And I don't know why I always talk so fast in your readings. So I apologize, but I wish you all the best and I'll be back to talk to you guys soon. Okay. Take care of yourself, get plenty of rest and, you know, having a little bit of a break from work would be really good for you. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.